We're at Planter Seed Company in the historic River Market District of Kansas City. Planter Seed Company has been here for a long, long time, and they do a great job when it comes to having a selection of bird feeders. In fact, I've never seen such a selection of bird feeders. Jeff, good to be here. Now, tell me, if someone comes in and they're kind of new to bird feeding, when you're faced with this kind of selection, how do you get them going in the right direction? Well, we find out whether they, what type of birds they want to feed, what type of, how big an area they have to feed them, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what type feeder they want. Do they want a platform feeder? Or do they want a tube type feeder? There's okay. the basic two varieties of feeders that you can get. And even though that there's like more than 50 different Many kinds? Many different variations on, all, on both kinds. Okay, so is this your typical tube feeder then, right? Yeah, that's a very good example of a uh, tube feeder. There's lots of different kinds of tube feeders, but they all have the same basic There's construction. There's tube feeders for specific types of birds, specific yeah. type feed that you'd put in those. It just depends on what type bird you want to attract. The size of the opening the then? The size of the hole would uh, determine, determine what type bird you might have. Okay, so uh, basically if a bird with a big beak came in with the, to something that had a really small hole, they couldn't get they any couldn't feed out. They couldn't get feed out, Okay, right. great. Now, platform feeder means it's something that has a hopper and a tray? Is well, that? basically just the tray. Uh, the oh. hopper would be to control the flow of feed right. into the, the uh, platform. Okay. But, uh, just a platform feeder would be anything that okay. you can put feed in. Okay, so this can go on the ground or it could go on a deck or, or even in a tree? Right, you can hang that, you can put it on a post or you can set it on the ground. And the screen allows moisture, moisture to go through. through. Now, this is like uh, a free-for-all. This is community food right. center. Anyone yeah, can biggest come Biggest bird wins. Biggest bird <laughs> wins, okay. But then you can get some of the tube feeders actually will exclude. That will exclude the larger birds, birds so that the smaller, shyer birds would have a place okay. to eat. Okay, but basically they're all variations on a theme. They're either a platform or a tube, or tube and then you've got special things for suet, right? That they're kind of a, a grid basket yeah, that you put the suet in. Here. They're used mostly in just the winter time. Then the only one real uh, different kind of bird feeder is the hummingbird feeder. They are different from a tube or They're platform. different from the regular feeders because they use a different type feed. A liquid one, a right? Liquid type yeah, feed. and then I did notice that there was one other one here that, that I wasn't familiar with, uh, this oriole feeder, and it's got a liquid uh, as it's well. It's very similar to a hummingbird feeder because an oriole is also a nectar feeder. Okay, so now we, we, we're picked out the feeder that we want. It's either going to be a tube or a platform, and we've got to put something in it. And what we put in it is going to determine what we attract. Is that right? right? Uh -huh. And you've got a bunch of different kinds of seed out there. Quite a few. Okay, let's go take a look and find out. About okay. okay. I don't even know where to start. What I mean, I guess I do know where to start. This is the old-fashioned wild just, bird feed mix. That's that, just a basic bird food mix. It's a combination of uh, four or five different kinds of feeds. Mm -hmm. uh, Sunflowers, milo, millet, uh, corn chop, something in there for all the birds. Just okay. the basic, if you're going to start out feeding and right. you want to, don't know what kind of feed to put out there, start out with something like this and see what see what birds are eating. Okay, and year round it's okay. Yeah, good mix for year round. Okay, then then from this basic mix, then we go to all these specialty that are just one kind of seed, right? One kind that you can use to feed specific birds or add something extra to your mix that your birds uh -huh. particularly like. So you like. can do a custom blend for you your... Can do your own mix. Okay, now what about this white millet here? White millet is a, a kind of a filler type seed. It's not one that's preferred by most of the birds, but it's something most of the birds will eat, and it's a little less expensive than trying to feed say sunflower exclusively. Okay, and then that's right, because some of these are more ex a lot more expensive lot than more others. Expensive. Okay, great. Then what about this? Now, the finch mix is kind of interesting, right? There are sp special type feeders, like a finch feeder right. with a small hole in it that only finches can pull the feed out of. Right. So you have to have a, sp a special feed to put in that feeder. That'll go through the hole. That will go through the hole. Right. That would be a very small seed. Uh, Niger is the basic feed that goes in uh, finch feeders. There are also some mixes of uh, Niger and ground up sunflower meats uh -huh. or a Niger uh, sunflower meat and millet uh -huh. mix, any of the smaller seeds that'll go through those. Okay, and that's so small that, that the bigger birds can't, the bigger big... birds can't get in that okay. hole and get that feed out of there. Okay, great. Now what about, now what are these? These are peanuts. Uh -huh. uh, woodpeckers, uh, blue jays, a lot of birds like that prefer peanuts. Bigger you can birds. Put, yeah, bigger birds. Uh, you can put these in a mesh type feeder. Right. And, uh, Woodpeckers will come along and take them out, or you can mix them in with your regular feed. Now, tell me about sunflower seeds. These whole sunflowers are like... This is the gourmet. This would be it. like feeding your bird steak. If yeah. you have a steak budget and you want to feed them that, then you can feed them this all the and time. And they don't have to work to get the seeds? They don't have to work at it. There's no mess underneath uh, the right. feeder. There's nothing left. They eat it all, 100%. Okay, and then there is a difference between the old-fashioned striped sunflower and the black oil? Yeah, is that what this called? is called black oil sunflower. It has a higher oil content than the other sunflowers do. And it's and smaller. The smaller. Yeah, the, the shell is smaller and it's filled. Mm -hmm. 
completely, where there's a lot of airspace in the larger in the bigger ones. Seeds, so okay. there's more waste on the bigger ones. Huh. Now, what about if for people who don't care, I mean, that they actually like to have squirrels around? Is it something that squirrels really like to, to, to eat? Squirrels will eat anything you put out there, but if you want to <laughs> right. put something out that's a little less expensive that just the squirrels will eat, you can use ear corn uh -huh. or whole corn off the cob. Now, if there was only one feed that you wanted to, to use, would you use a, a wild bird feed mix or something else? If you just want, just had one. If you only wanted to use one feed, one type feed, mm -hmm. uh, the best feed for the birds would be the black oil sunflower. Uh -huh. It's the best for them, and all the birds like it. Is it good for them because of the oil content? Is it's, that what makes yeah, it good? Yeah, it's the best type feed for them. It's got a good high oil content. It's a lot of protein. Uh, it's the, the, and a preferred variety. There must be a lot of very happy birds in Kansas City. That's all I have to say. We hope so. <laughs> I'm going to buy some of this black oil sunflower, and I'm going to take it and put it in my own backyard. Okay. Thanks a lot, Jeff. Thank you. It's been great, and uh, we've learned that uh, you can attract birds uh, whether you live in, a, in an urban area or a suburban area or uh, even out in the country, right? right. Put them out anywhere, anywhere. they'll find it. They'll find it. Build, build it, and they'll come. Right? That's right. Okay, great. Thanks. Thank you.